Does anybody out there know what this is? Um, this is an ancient artifact from, <laughs> from um, 2000 Mesopotamia. <laughs> it has it has um, all the information that they ever would put. increasing faith <laughs> ministry right. is what that is. This is Whoa. a cassette tape of uh, the Apostle Fred K C Price on a cassette. Oh, that's, what, that's what goes into Teddy Ruxpin. Yeah. Yes. Right. <laughs> <laughs> like you know what a CD is? What? <laughs> right. Download. Man. Man. Boy, we've gone through a lot of different technology through the last couple of years. I seen somebody yeah. selling CDs by Alabama Fish yesterday. Wow. Oh, 1979. That was the uh, invention of the CD. CD. Yep. That's the big one. For real? It didn't, it didn't come out to forever. The laser disc. Lazy disc. Nope. Compact disc hmm. where it was actually hmm. invented in 1979. Hmm. Okay. Fact check me. Please comment. Yeah, let me know if I'm right or wrong. Yeah, let them know. I just kind of came out of nowhere. Scoobalini. Scoobalicious. You got a blessed vision for us? Yes, I do. All right. In the mighty name of Jesus. Word. Okay, here with it. Oh. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so, uh, this week we're uh, going back into maturing and godly character. I want to say a quick prayer. God, this week uh, I just like to ask you and thank you for giving me. The proper guidance and the words that come from my mouth, they speak strongly through my vocal cords. That this may be an anointed message to those out there, all the saints and believers and non-believers as well. We look, God, you love us all the same and we reflect your love. We are a mirror of you and we love you. We are the image of you. We are you. So, Lord, we just thank you for what you do and provide and we want to be providers and service as well in the name of Christ Jesus amen amen Hallelujah. so we stepping in mature maturing in godly character repentance this week last week we left off and I left you with the definition of uh repentance in the biblical version the word metan to me metanoia metanoia once again i practice this too and still got it wrong <laughs> i do that all the time don't feel and, bad. Uh, so basically repentance is really the major key in changing your character mm -hmm. because repentance is change yeah so to turn away right mm -hmm. true repentance does not mean i'm sorry True repentance is a change of mind. It's changing the mind, changing the direction. It literally means to change the mind. Yeah. He says it in Romans, some Romans, that God use, is using his goodness to motivate you to change your mind. And that's pretty powerful. And as a reason, Peter, the Lord is, uh, L-E-B, the Lord is not delaying the promise as some consider slowness, slowness but it's being patient towards you because he does not want any to perish, but all to come to repentance. Change behavior is the fruit of repentance. So <clears throat> when you go to God and you repent, right? You turn from your ways. Mm -hmm. It's not just simply turning away. Mm -hmm. You turn away and you walk away. Mm -hmm. But how do you stay away? Ooh, nice. Right? Yeah. How do you stay away? You stay away by dipping into, learn, dipping into your identity, learning who God is. I made a post on social media yesterday. It just came to me, and that is Holy Spirit. Larry. He was just like, see, the first the first part of your identity crisis that you want to recognize is knowing who God is. Mm -hmm. A lot of us don't know who God is. And the way, who, the way we find out who God is is by getting out in these biblical streets. You know what I'm saying? Nah, I mean, these biblical it's, blocks. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> these biblical blocks. You know what I'm saying? For those who don't know what I'm saying, it's to get into your Bible. Mm -hmm. So, um, 
I got a few scriptures to see how we can be led to this fruits. Let's see what the word says about how we receive this fruit. Mark chapter 1, verse 14. And after John had been taken into custody, Jesus went into Galilee, proclaiming the gospel of God, saying, The time fulfilled and the kingdom of God has come near. Repent and believe the gospel. Repent, turn away, and believe mm -hmm. the gospel. Yeah. The gospel is patience, kindness, um, grace, prosperity is in there. Prosperity, not the prosperity gospel, prosperity, um, mm -hmm. uh, Love, I can't remember them. I had them right down, but they so down in the notes. I'm going to read. I got, this, I got this part coming up again. But the gospel basically is the good news. And the right. good news is Jesus Christ. Amen. And so we want to get, that's how you start to receive the fruit, when you start to study Jesus Christ. Yeah. So Amen. after John had been, he said, repent and believe. Oh, I got it right here. I'm looking right at it. <laughs> Righteousness, <laughs> peace, joy, the Holy Spirit, God's grace, and unmerited favor and his promises. Changed behavior comes from changed thinking. Changed thinking comes from your beliefs. Whatever you feed yourself changes your belief. You must have, you must leave behind old behavior and habits that prohibits you from changing your mind and replace your food. You ever heard the, food, the you ever heard the saying "food for thought"? Mm -hmm. Well, that saying captures the essence of truth. It captures the essence of truth when it comes to changing your mind. Receiving the fullness of God is the fruit of the results of changing your mind and behavior and coming to absolute surrenderance and repentance. I believe the more you feed yourself the Word of God, of Jesus Christ, it enables the Holy Spirit. Fully to flow in your expression of truly repenting. Mm -hmm. So what will you choose as the adjuster of your thinking? Will you choose advice from worldly friends? Those friends who, you know, oh man, uh, especially for married couples. I'm not going to someone that's not married about my marital problems. And I'm not going to somebody that's not dipped in the holy i'm going to brenton kirsten about my marriage problems mm -hmm. right mm -hmm. they're younger than me but they're wise and educated and mature i'm not going to nobody else unless and, i and, know another and, and they in the kingdom marriage yeah so. i'm right. not going to another unless i know another kingdom mm -hmm. a, another kingdom couple couple mm -hmm. i'm not going there i'm not i'm not going there mm -hmm. and it's the same with him we we contact each other sometimes not all the time but we've had those first with I can't I can't call bro on this because bro ain't bro ain't, bro ain't married. You know what I'm saying? I can't I'm calling school. Or I'm calling I'm calling Brent. Or I'm telling Brent Kirsten, what's up? This is what's going on. And it's because they're coming from an in a, a kingdom aspect. Mm -hmm. So they're gonna give you they're gonna give you reality, but they're gonna give you it with a kingdom lens. Yeah. Right? So or or will you choose reality TV shows? TV shows that goes back to your food. You ain't gonna have no good relationships, marriage or not. Watching reality TV, love and hip hop, uh, 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 and and love and hip hop, or or all those shows that don't amount to building into a person's character. Yeah, you know what I mean. It's self defeating to watch those shows and to constantly watch those shows. Because it it, it, it it goes into you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then what comes out of you is going to become defiled. Mm -hmm. It's going to become, you wondering why you walking around saying stuff you ain't got no business saying. Because you watching the stuff that is not righteous. Mm -hmm. It's not feeding you the right It's not feeding right. you. It's not good food. It's it's going to make you fat, but in the wrong way. The wrong right. kind of way. It's not good way. It's, it's bad way. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So you want to share that. Also... Secular music. I, I I I love me some Jay Z at a point in time. I felt like that point in time in life, and now I had to go back and rebuttal. I had to turn into school rebuttal and rebuttal. That got me through those times in my life where you know what I'm saying. I needed that to focus on what I was doing. 
actually the Holy Spirit. I was being blindly led through the Holy Spirit to live and do what I'm doing now to get through that. But I, in my mind, I said it was Jay Z and his music, you know. And when Jay Z changed clothes, I changed clothes. When Jay Z busted a new move, I cut my braid, cut, put on a suit and taper it up. You know what I'm saying? I started to change my identity. But it's better when you. Ch- I don't want to change. I can't. Jay Z is not gonna get me to Jay Z level, but Christ is gonna get me to Christ level. Amen. Right. Mm-hmm. And you ain't put on no suit though. Nah, yeah. I, I, later on, <laughs> later, later, later. Guess who did that? Christ, right? <laughs> you know what I'm saying, right? So I will leave you with some scripture to ponder, but I will also tell you this: don't just take my word from it. I encourage you to open your Bibles to seek truth and change and the power of God. Here's some truth from the Word of God about renewing your mind for repentance. Mm-hmm. Colossians chapter one, verse twenty-seven through twenty-eight. Amen. To whom God wanted to make known what is glorious, wealth. This wealth of this mysteries among the Gentiles, which is Christ in you, the hope of the glory whom whom we proclaim by uh, admonishing, mm-hmm. <laughs> right? <laughs> Taught us that word last week. <laughs> by admonishing every person, teaching every person with all wisdom, in order that we may present every person mature in Christ. Amen. So, once again, we're we're maturing a godly character. How do we mature in godly character? We renew our mind. We repent. And what comes from renewing our mind and repentance? The fruit. Amen. Our behavior changes. Amen. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So Christ is the root of repentance. You can always tell somebody's belief by how they live. And the way you live reflects the way you, how you think. So once again, what information will you choose to adjust your thinking? Amen. I have more scripture on that. Matthew chapter 3 verses 8. Therefore, produce worthy of repentance. I mean, therefore, produce fruit worthy of repentance. As I said earlier, the fruit of repentance is changed behavior, Mm -hmm. righteous behavior, suitable in the eyes of the Lord. Think about it. Sometimes when you when you you like 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 I'm going back. Let me go back to what I said. When you watch somebody's life and have somebody rock, I used to always have this conversation with Reek. Now. I was I was coming doing episodes. I was building the Lord, but I have so many problems. And he just be like, "Bruh, what 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 did you feed yourself? Like for real? Like he'll be like for real? Like what 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 you got going on, man? It something off. Like I don't see how you say all these good things, but it's not nothing's materializing. Nothing's coming. I ain't trying to diss you, but I don't see no no fruit, right?" It's because you can't go and read the Bible and say you saved and don't live a saved lifestyle. What comes with reading the Bible is when you read the Bible, God, it's the word of God. Mm-hmm. And the word of God is Christ. You talk to Christ and he'll talk back. The Bible talks back to you. Mm-hmm. And you'll talk to it. And that communication builds you. Like, I can, I, I can really say now that I study the Bible more and now that I be in church more, and they don't got to be a physical build. I'm watching my programs, church programs with yeah. the right with the right doctrine. Yeah. Right. Mm-hmm. I be soundly led, and it it changes me. I notice the change. Yeah. It's been changing my family gradually. Mm-hmm. Gradually, I wa- I watch my wife. She she like I'm 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 cool on cool on this. She almost felt like last night. She almost felt bad. It was her sister's birthday, and they usually annually they go out for her sister's birthday, but they go to the all all type of them clubs and all that. And I was like, you know, usually she know I, I disapprove of, but I was like, go out, go out, go out, go go have fun with your sister. She got back so quick, like you know what, that ain't that ain't what I, you know, I'm cool. Mm-hmm. Amen. That ain't Amen. that that ain't that ain't what's up. But I did. Go out Hallelujah. there just to, just to make an appearance and show my sister. You know what I do uh, when, you know, people that want people want me to celebrate something or do something with them on a burp or whatever, I tell them, meet me in the daytime. Let's do something in the daytime. Right, right. You By, by default, you're going to be doing something that you that a, that a kingdom citizen can do because well, there ain't really much 
I mean, it's you can find something evil to do in the daytime, but like you know, and see, by this, no club. Now check this out. By the fruit of the spirit, let me give an example off of this, right? By the fruit of the spirit, she automatically before she went was convicted. <laughs> she don't have to say that. I know that because I could tell right. by she, how she felt about going. Right. If she now the the I, and I doubt if it's the next time, but if it's the next time, she'll think like. Well, what I'm gonna get out of it? Like I don't, I don't even do the same things they do. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? I, I constantly remind her: you cannot try to go to somebody's environment and change them. Mm-hmm. They have to come to your environment mm-hmm. in and be order changed. to change. Or if you go into their environment, you can't be in their environment doing what they're doing. Right. You got to be in their environment being light. You know what I'm saying? Right. So, um, hey, right. Man. So the, the the fruit is changed behavior, you're good, you're good. and I'm seeing behaviors change. My children, they they all of my children, the ones that live in the home, the ones that live outside the home. Mm-hmm. No matter how how far my reach is, I, I have nothing. What 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 I don't have financially, right in this earthly realm, I have financially in the kingdom. Amen. So I give what I got to offer. Mm-hmm. Now you know. I'm moving and grooming that I'm moving and grooving at the pace of the Holy Spirit as he moves me because I got a lot of kids. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. But we but we get to it. But they notice the change. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Uh so in Mark, did I read this already? Oh no. So Mark 1 15, saying the time is fulfilled, and the kingdom of God has come near. Repent and believe the gospel. Oh, I said I read it already in this hour. Okay. In the same way I tell you, this is Luke chapter 15, uh, verse 10. In the same way I tell you, there is joy in the presence of the angels of God over one sinner who repents. Who God loves when God loves when you repent. Angels rejoice when you repent. To me, this repentance is a true testament to one's character and how much more they value the relationship of God. Yeah. Look. How do you think you make God feel when you repent? Hmm. When you actually hmm. change for him so he can rock with you. In real life, you don't want to rock with nobody that, that, that ain't like you. Or they don't share the same Christ like mine. You don't go around them same those same people. And people could use the excuse. I know people that use excuse. And I only kicked them with it so so you know what I'm saying they get a little bit of Christ, but the whole time y'all around, y'all ain't talking about Christ. Right. I don't go around people just for the simple fact I'm a people pleaser and I know that I ain't gonna be doing the right thing if I'm kicking around. I can't I can't I can't kick it with you on your time because I'm on always on Christ's time. That's it. That's from here on I'm always on Christ's time, so I ain't got time to kick it with you because if I kick it with you Nine times out of ten, I'm going to be on your time, and I ain't going to be reaping the fruits of this changed behavior. Now, when I, as I grow and mature in godly character more, Amen. I'll be able to go around, and then you can be conformed and transformed as I am. Mm-hmm. But right now, at the And level, that's wisdom, being able to know and decipher what you can and can't do in this season. Right. Mm-hmm. Like, this, is, this, 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 this ain't it. This, mm-hmm. this ain't it. And- I was I was sketchy about letting my wife go out, but I trust in the Lord. Mm-hmm. I stand firm in the Lord, and I know if you come back a certain way that I don't like, well, you you told her to go ahead, mm-hmm. so be prepared. You know what I'm saying? But the Lord is graceful, and it didn't go nowhere the way I thought it could have went. You know what I'm saying? But just just to show up, I trust you, right. and I trust the Lord. Go ahead. You know what yeah. I'm saying? So. How is that a testament to your character? Like when you show when you show that character and God sees that you're truly repenting and you're truly turning the other cheek and you truly going the other way, you fully surrendering everything, he gonna rock with you. Cause the whole the whole thing about the Bible, when you look at the basis of it, God created us for a relationship with him. Yeah. Right? First and foremost. First and foremost. So chapter Romans chapter two through four. Uh, chapter 2 uh, verse 4 or do you despise the wealth of his kindness and his forbearance 
and patience, not knowing that the kindness of God leads you to repentance. Everything, all the miracles that we see is so big that God has done, that we see his ministry, that he sees ministry. He's just doing that so he can show you, like, come on, at me. Mm -hmm. Come rock right. with me. Right. Look, look, look. I mean, this, ain't, this, this, this little bit of change ain't nothing to me. You know what I'm saying? This is for you. This is for so you can relax. Yeah. So you can focus on me. Mm -hmm. I just need you to trust in me. I need you to know that I'm a friend. And, and, and the process of God showing this these type of relationship characteristics, that becomes you. And then you do that to your brother and your other brother. Then your other brother do it to your other brother. Mm -hmm. You feel what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So it's all character and relationship building. Real repentance is continu continuous transforming of the mind. So repent. The kingdom of God is at hand. That's all I got. Amen. Amen. You know what I'm saying? And whatever, wherever Hallelujah. the Holy Spirit wills and leads me, <clears throat> I don't know next, but I know that I'm, I'm, I just want to thank God for loving me enough to tell me, check yourself. Before you wreck yourself. Check your character. Mm -hmm. Mature your character. And then come holler at me. Amen. All day. Amen. Yeah. Amen to that. Psalms Amen. 51. Clap that up. Psalms 51. Yeah, what's, fun? What's, what's that? None yet. You got to figure that out for yourself. <laughs> nah, nah, nah. Uh, Psalms 51 is just a great example of repentance. So, <clears throat> like my, myself, I've... Uh, obviously, I've repented many of times. But I didn't really truly know what i was doing and you know god has given me grace from that but until not too long ago in reading psalms 51 it really showed me what good looks like mm -hmm. how do you repent uh properly so psalms 51 yeah. I the holy spirit just gave me this and i promise you jamar it's time to live a life of repentance Dang. that's Constant. gonna fix your character yep Amen. Every day. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Amen. 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 We gonna oh, Holy, back. Holy we Spirit gonna, be heavy on him. We're going to come back mm. with this uh, Sons resting. of God live. Be resting on him. We'll be right back. Amen. Hallelujah. Be right back.